What's up guys, J&J &J Reviews here. Been a while, but we are back with a spoiler-filled review of the highly anticipated movie, Deadpool. We brought our buddy here, Zach. He also saw the movie. And we're gonna get into major spoilers about this movie, even though there's not much to spoil, but if you don't want the best parts and jokes spoiled for you, I wanna watch the movie before you watch it. But first, everyone go around, just give your overall thoughts on the movie Deadpool before we get into heavy spoilers. Uh, you know, I thought Deadpool was a really funny movie, uh, really enjoyable, it was packed, you know. People were laughing here and there. It was overall a really good movie. Yeah, I mean, I, I had a good time. I, I came in kind of uh, iffy. I, I, a lot of people thought it was going to be good, and I, I think it, it definitely came out as a good movie. Uh, it, it was funny, it was uh, unique, and the action scenes were fantastic. And again, a really packed crowd. I think everyone came out enjoying the movie, which was uh, a good sign. Yeah, I had very high expectations for the movie. I love the character Deadpool, and I've been really looking forward to this movie. I went in expecting to love it, and I did love it. Just a great time at the movie theater. You can get into plot and everything wherever you want, but if you're just going to the theater for a good time, I think Deadpool's the perfect movie for that. Yeah, I mean, uh, being a, a uh, person who didn't really know a whole lot about Deadpool going in, um, like, you know, I knew who he was, but I didn't really follow much of his comics or anything like that. Um, I'm not really into that stuff, but regardless, uh, yeah, I think going in, I mean, it's kind of an origin story as, you know, we see it. Um, it's kind of that initial moment where he becomes a hero. Um, so I think overall, though, the character, I mean, from what I've heard and I, I saw, the character was nailed really oh, well Brian by Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Um, Perfect. Yeah, I mean, it Nobody was, else could play with Exactly, that. exactly. And, uh, yeah, the scenes were fantastic. and. You know, I, I go back to the uniqueness part of it because there were just so many scenes in this that were just original, like nothing we hadn't really seen before. Um, and the spots where CGI was used, they were used in the right moments. Um, it was just, it was really well done uh, for a first time director in Tim Miller. Yeah, so just getting into the, with the spoilers from now on here, getting into the originality, the opening credits alone set the tone for that this is a different movie. They get on, they're like starring the hot guy and the hot girl and directed by an overpaid tool. It's just stuff like that where you're, you're already laughing you're like, oh this is, even though you already knew that this was not going to be a normal superhero movie, those opening credits alone just set the tone like this is not your average superhero movie. Uh, yeah, you know, it was a great movie. As Jamin said before, you know, he really nailed it with the characteristics of Deadpool and, you know, I enjoyed it. I'm pretty high on the rating. I was going in not thinking it was going to be as good as it was. And it completely blew my mind how well it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, you go back just, again, as you were saying, the uh, early part of the credits where we just saw, it was just like, everything was almost, you know, frozen. Mm -hmm. And we went through, we got the opening, uh, you know, credits, as you were saying. And then, you know, symbolism worked this, and I hate saying that, but it's true. There was a lot. You know, you go through, we got to see kind of moments that uh, would be picked, on, picked up on later in the movie. Um, just little tiny, just funny little knickknacks here and there, and it was just, it was really well done. Um, yeah, I think that was just, it was something we'd never really seen before. It was kind of like an almost Matrix feel to it. It felt good. Yeah, and after the opening scene, what I was worried about was that was the bridge scene where they kind of froze everything, but they had the bridge scene. You saw that, that was like the selling point in the trailer, it was that bridge scene, so I kind of thought, I would just kind of like get through that scene, but that scene ends up one of being one of the best in the movies, when he's just in the car kicking people. Uh, punching, he holds up the sign, have you seen this man? It's just a, a great scene to kick off the movie and set the tone early on for what this movie was going to be. Yeah, heads down, that was a great scene um, from when he was at the fighting and when they flash back to his, you know, past. Yeah, with the his... structure of how they told the origin story was very different. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I kind of think it was a little, I kind of wanted it to be stretched out a little more. I felt like they kind of went bang, 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 but it was definitely totally original and I loved how they did that. Well, I like how they definitely started it kind of like right in that scene that you were talking about um, with the you know, frozen part because I think it, it, it kind of set it up, you know, that was the main scene we were looking for, but it didn't show us the beginning or the end. It showed us right in the middle, so we got a taste of what the movie was going to be like, but we didn't get to see the two main points. Um, and like I said, you know, the, uh, that scene was fantastic. All right, next up, uh, we're just gonna kind of going through our favorite moments in the movie. We have the bar scene, which if you've seen John Wick, uh, it's kind of like the hotel from that movie where there's all these other mercs and uh, hitmen out for hire. That, that's where they go to hang out and get new jobs from the bartender, who's played by T.J. Miller, kind of plays a comedic friend of uh, Deadpool. And that whole scene overall, just the bar in general and T.J. Miller, I thought that all really worked for me. 
Yeah, I think uh, TJ Miller was super funny. Um, he provided a lot of little laughs here and there. Didn't overdo it like a lot of this movie. Yeah, he didn't try to like steal Deadpool's show. Yeah, I think it was really well done, and I really enjoyed this scene because it kind of reminded me of you know, uh, you know, a Star Wars type scene or mm -hmm. Guardians of the, the Galaxy character. or something where we kind of see you know the whole uh, you know, city and people. Deadpool exactly. Up. It was really nice to see. I think uh, it kind of brings the whole group together, and it was nice and well done. Yeah, using the comedy with the death pull of, uh, you mm -hmm. know, with there's uh, Bill Cosby and Charlie yeah. Sheen are mm -hmm. on the, it's, this, it's just stuff like that throughout this movie, it's just really funny. Yeah. And then uh, next up, uh, let's talk about Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. From the trailers, didn't look like they'd be in the movie a lot. Maybe make a cameo, pop in, kick some butt. They're actually a key part of this movie, uh, provide one of the best jokes for me when they go to uh, the house, Professor X's house. And he knocks on the door, it's just that he's like, why do I only see two X-Men here? It's like the studio couldn't afford another X-Men. Yeah. They use them a lot, really funny. Uh, they also have some very cool action scenes uh, with Colossus and uh, the villain Ajax, his sidekick. They have a big throwdown. Just overall, they were a lot more integral to the movie and funnier than I thought they would be. I think both Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead did a really fantastic job. I think they were both really, uh, not only humorous characters, because uh, Colossus, I think, was very uh, humorous, yeah. more than people uh, say. And, uh, but also really good action scenes. You see the scene uh, with uh, Ajax, kind of a uh, sidekick person, where he's battling with her while Deadpool's uh, battling up top. I think that just was really well done. I think that uh, there were nice, good additions that I think were um, a little bit... Um, we didn't really think that they were going to be big in the movie, so therefore they were kind of interesting to see on the screen. Yeah, then moving on, uh, we have one of the main characters from the comic is the person who Deadpool lives with, Blind Al, who was Zack's favorite part of the movie. Uh, she's a old blind woman who they use, that scene usually, the whole scene is like a 10 minute scene just used for comedy, but they have some of the funniest jokes in the movie where he had cut his hand off to get away from Colossus and it's growing back and it's a little hand and he touches her with it. Mm -hmm. This very funny scene, just that whole scene, not really crucial to the movie, but it's more of just fan service and giving us blind out and it was really funny. Yeah, I like how it didn't really interfere with the main story, but it was still uh, nice to see for Deadpool fans. And uh, it provides her some really good uh, comic relief in the middle of a uh, pretty interesting story. Yeah, uh, you know, funny scenes in that part, you know, when uh, he's going down uh, to the main battle, I guess you could say, with Ajax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Ajax, uh, he goes, tells her exactly where, you know, cocaine is actually placed, even though she's blind. Uh, it's going to be hard for her to get to that. <laughs> you know, that was a pretty funny part. Um, and then, yeah, moving on. Yeah, next, uh, just tied in with kind of leading up to the final battle here with Ajax. You have, uh, I can't, the actress's name that plays the girlfriend is really hard to pronounce. Yeah, I'm not going to try yeah. to pronounce it because I'll probably just screw it up. But she's really good in the movie. And Ajax, he captures her. And that really just, that really adds to the, again, the emotional punch of this movie. Deadpool actually gets, like, visibly upset about her being sold. And he, like, he finally, it's when he, like, doesn't make a joke. There's, like, five minutes where he's just like ticked off, getting all his weapons ready, it's where he goes back to Blind Al and T.J. Miller pops up again. They send him off to the final battle with Ajax and his henchmen. And I think that's just, it might might be my favorite action scene in the movie because there's so much going on, like they had the Colossus fight with the sidekick, Deadpool beating the guards and moving up to Ajax. I think overall it was just a totally awesome and enjoyable scene. Right, they really did a good job with that, kind of uh, combining um, the battle with kind of the uh, love story. And just really a good send-off, and you know, we got the final uh, comedy scene with Colossus and uh, Deadpool <laughs> trying to recruit him, and uh, you know, he's telling him to, you know, don't shoot, you know? Yeah, he finally has the bad guy mm -hmm. where he wants him. And then, uh, of course, he ends up shooting. Just, yeah, in the just middle like of his expect. big speech, right. Colossus throws up. Great way to end it. Yeah, really good way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give our overall thoughts and score for Deadpool, starting with Zach. Uh, it was a great comedy. I enjoyed it. I, was go I wasn't going into it with high hopes, but it really surprised me. Made me laugh a lot. Uh, I'm going to give it a good, solid 8.75 out of 10. All right, yeah, I, I definitely agree. I think uh, between it being really unique, um, you know, being very funny, and of course uh, being really nice action and a good, uh, really good story and representation of Deadpool, I was really impressed, a lot more than I thought I was when I uh, went into the movie. 
Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and give this movie an 8 out of 10. A really solid, not my favorite uh, movie of all time, but a really well done comic book movie, and I really enjoyed it. Um, mainly due to that, uh, with it really being different sort of uh, comic book movie. Well, I guess I went in the opposite of you guys. I went in with huge expectations, looking to love this movie, and also looking to nitpick it for if I didn't love it, but I did end up totally loving this movie. Perfect fan service for Deadpool fans out there. They finally do the character justice after he got his mouth sewn shut. And this is overall just, I think, uh, my cup of tea of the movie. One of my favorite movies of all time is Kick-Ass, if that wants to tell you anything about me. So overall, for me, this movie is just perfect for what it was, the Deadpool movies. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Highly recommend. Even if you're not a Deadpool fan, if you're just a comic book fan, you check this one out. Because it's definitely different and very fun. Yeah, I agree. Thank you guys for watching this review. Let us know down in the comments what did you think of Deadpool and what were your, some, some of the funniest parts and favorite moments from the movie. Thank you, Zach, for joining us on this review, and we'll see you guys next time. Jane Jane Reviews, good day.